This is Green River Belle. She is about seven years old. Um, there's nothing really unique about her. She doesn't stand out from the other pawpaws in any way, aside from the flavor of the fruit. Uh, but yeah, here she is, end of season, with her fall color. So I had hoped to get more of these Meet the Cultivar videos done. Um, however, we had a poor pollination this spring, so we had maybe a tenth to a twentieth of the crop we should have. Uh, most of it got sold before I could even think about doing a video. Um, but these uh, Green River Bells were holding uh, just the other day. It is a late season cultivar here in New England. Um, holds alongside tropical treats and sunflower as being among the very last trees to have fruit. Um, I hear that she is more mid-season uh, in the south. Uh, I cannot confirm or deny that. I don't know. Um, but she is absolutely delicious. This fruit is in my top 10 uh, for sure. Um, she is unique. Um, though the tree itself doesn't really have anything that stands out from the crowd. The flavor is what makes this cultivar worthwhile. So let's get into it. You can see Green River Bell is a smallish fruit. She's rather seedy. And on the inside, see she's a pale flesh pawpaw. She has kind of a butter yellow flesh, uh, almost white. Um, but let's get to the flavor. Let's see what the flavor's like. This is Green River Bell. Uh, yeah, it's as I remember. She is a light flavored pawpaw. It's, it's more of the high note flavors, not a lot of the earthiness. A um, little bit of a woodiness at the end. Some people compare it to cinnamon. I don't really know if that's the best descriptor for it. But yeah, she has light, tropical, almost cherimoya flavors, but not quite. She's very strong on the moya. There's a very solid representative of that moya flavor I, I talk about as being the backbone of pawpaw um, with a nice aftertaste. So yeah, this cultivar is worth having. She makes a lot of fruit. Um, they're smaller, seedier. Um, but they are absolutely delicious. Sir, 